Next up is going to be carrots. We're going to freeze dry them. What we'll do is we'll go through and we'll clean the skins off of this, send it through the food processor and slice them up and see how they turn out. Should turn out pretty good. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to start processing these to put them in the freeze dryer. We set the food processor up to slice with this on the top. That's going to come around and slice them about the same thickness. So we'll get these all cleaned up. What I'm doing, I'm just kind of cleaning the outside up, cutting the ends off. And then when we're ready, we'll be able to just send them down through here and it'll slice them all up. Well, here's what the trays look like after we sent them through the food processor. And, you know, some of these were really small ones, so they made little, little bitty chips. Uh, but I used the all in one bag and uh, maybe just a little part of this bag here to make all these. But you can see some of them turned out to be, you know, pretty small little pieces. But if you're doing them in soups or stews or something, uh, those will work pretty good. Uh, the bigger ones, they sliced up a little bit better uh, for slices. We'll do a batch like this and then we'll do another batch where we'll actually put them in chunks. Uh, whether it will just be a little bit bigger pieces. Slice them a little bit thicker and we'll see how that works. But we're waiting for the freeze dryer to get cold. I uh, can probably hear it in the background. Uh, once it gets cold, we'll put these in and go ahead and start it. And then uh, we'll see how long it takes to do the carrots. Well, our carrots are done. Took 34 hours. So we're going to open this up. Take this off. We're going to pull these out. And they feel nice and dry. I, yeah, crunchy little thin ones, kind of almost like carrot chips. Definitely tastes like carrots. So we're going to bag them up. We'll put some in the uh, vacuum seal and we'll put some in the Mylar bags and uh, store them that way. Come back when I get them all done. Well, here's what we ended up with. We put a tray in each one of these bags and a tray in each one of these. We had four trays and four bags. These two bags will go in our real long-term storage. These are going our kind of medium turn uh, time uh, storage. But that's what we ended up with. They looked like they worked out pretty good. as we good for putting in soups and uh, stuff like that. So next one, we'll do another one with them diced up a little bit bigger for like into when you're doing a roast with your potatoes and onions.